Currently, there are four types of purging products, virgin resins or regrind, and three commercial products, chemical, mechanical abrasive, mechanical non-abrasive. Let's review each one. In some applications, the use of virgin or regrind is an acceptable purging product, such as when running the same color or when staying within the same family of resins. However, some processors use their own virgin resins and regrinds as a home remedy for purging when, in fact, it is less effective and more expensive compared to the use of commercial purging products. Virgin resins and regrind are not formulated to clean processing equipment. This type of purging product might displace the previous resin and color, but it will not clean carbon deposits or negative flow areas in the machinery. Furthermore, resins filled with glass or minerals are abrasive to machinery, and repeated use may cause excessive pitting and wearing to the processing equipment. Now, let's take a closer look at products specifically designed for purging. Once again, these three basic types of commercial purging products are chemical, mechanical abrasive, and mechanical non-abrasive. Chemical purging compounds may be liquid or solids, concentrates or pre-blends that are introduced into the machine with a carrier resin and allowed to soak in the barrel for a specified time at specific temperatures. The screw is stopped and the chemical reaction occurs that changes the viscosity of the resonant resin, allowing it to flow out of the machine, thus removing the contaminants. Although chemical purging can be effective, it has several disadvantages. Some chemical products are concentrates that require accurate measurement and mixing with a carrier resin. Their effectiveness is reduced if they are not blended and dispersed properly in the carrier resin. The time spent measuring, mixing, and blending the chemical purging agent also factors into its cost effectiveness. Because of the soaking time required, chemical purges can take longer than other approaches meaning more downtime and lost productivity. Some chemical ingredients may react with metal surfaces in the machinery, causing staining, pitting, or other damage. Some chemical products are not heat-stable or safe to be left in the barrel for shutdown. Incorrect shutdown procedures can result in carbon buildup, causing black specks at startup. Another group of commercial purging products are mechanical abrasive. These are concentrates, or pre-blended compounds formulated with glass and or inert fillers, such as clay, calcium, talc, or titanium dioxide. These fillers are abrasive and work by scouring the metal surfaces. Unfortunately, these abrasive compounds can cause wear or other damage and may affect critical tolerances of the equipment. Also, some mechanical abrasive compounds require mixing with a carrier, leading to the same kinds of possible drawbacks as chemical purging compounds, such as lost productivity and hidden costs from the time required for measuring and mixing the compounds, heat instability that might produce carbon buildup, causing black specks at startup if the compound is left in the barrel for shutdown. The third type of commercial purging product is mechanical non-abrasive. These are thermoplastic blends consisting of a carrier resin and scrubbing granules. These granules soften on the outside, but remain solid on the inside, so that the metal surfaces are scrubbed safely and thoroughly without wear. Mechanical non-abrasive compounds are supplied ready to use, so they don't require mixing with a carrier. Typically, these compounds are available in a variety of formulations to match specific processes and temperature requirements. They are introduced into the machine at the resonant resin processing temperature and don't require adjusting the machine temperature or RPM speed. Also, these compounds are stable at all temperatures, so they can be left in the machine for shutdown and startup.